In the opening sequence, we showed you all the removable parts in the B&B bag. Also included in the package are these TSA approved keys. For Brompton bikes that have a wide saddle, saddle on top of the pentaclip or extended seat posts. You need to remove the pentaclip and the seat from the bike by using a 5mm Allen key, turning it in an anti-clockwise direction like this. If your bike comes with a telescopic seat post, things are even easier. You can just pull it out using quick release like this. As a safety precaution, we recommend removing both hinge clamps, starting with this one on the frame by turning it in an anti-clockwise direction. Now we have to undo this one on the Brompton stem. Again, turn this in an anti-clockwise direction. Be careful not to drop it though, because it will fall off. We recommend storing them in a padded pouch or somewhere else. To open the box, pull the latch like this. Next, you have to take the belt off the bags. Ideally, this should be done when the bag is laying down. However, it was filmed in this position so that it's easier for the audience to see. For E-type Bromptons and some L bikes, it's very easy to fit in the B and the B bag. Once it is folded, nothing doesn't even have to be taken off. However, for most R-type, it's very hard to fit the bike in. If your bike doesn't fit the bag, you're left with two options. And option A is that you remove your pentaclip and saddle. As you can see here, it closes normally. Some bikes doesn't even fit when you remove the seat. So you're only left with option B which is to remove one side of the black foam sheet, like this. To close the bag, you just push down the latch while holding the top of the bag. You can also lock this latch with the key provided. And finally, you have to put the Velcro belt back on to the bag. Again, this should be done when the bag is laying down. Now you're ready to travel.